Hi, this is Barbara Rademacher again, and we're starting something new. So notice you have lots of help buttons over here. We're going to be solving a system by substitution. Okay, and here's the system we're going to be solving. And the goal of solving by substitution is to look at all six terms. This term, this term, this term, this term, this term, this term, and try to find one of the letters that is all by itself. X, for instance, is the only letter that's all by itself. All of the others have coefficients. So I am going to solve for X. Notice that I start out with an empty pen. So I'm going to get another one. There now, is that quite so empty? No, this is good, all right. I've got x minus 3y equals 13. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for x by adding 3y to both sides of the equation. That'll zero out, leaving me with x all by itself. Over here, I'll have 13 plus 3y. Now I have x solved all by itself. Now my other equation is 4y minus 10x equals negative 104. In fact, I usually label these. Since this equation right here is on top, I label it L1 for line 1. And since this equation well, this equation was second, and then all I did was change the form of it, so this is still line two. Now, this also is called my substitution. Equation because I'm going to use it for substitution since we're using the method called substitution. I am going to take, since this is what x equals in line 2, I'm going to take what x equals and substitute it for x in line 1. So I'll have 4y minus 10 parentheses 13 plus 3y equals negative 1, 0, 4. All right, so I'll have 4y minus 1, 30, minus 30y equals negative 1, 0, 4, 104. Now I'll combine like terms, 4y minus 30y is negative 26y. Oh, I left my negative 130 equals negative 104. And now I'm going to add 130 to both sides of the equation. So that this term will zero out and I'll be left with negative 26y equals um, 26, negative 26. No, positive 26, the bigger number is positive. Now to find out what y equals, I divide both sides by negative 26. And so I will end up with y equals negative 1. Now, since we're finding an ordered pair, we're, when we solve a system, we're finding the point of intersection. So we have to find an ordered pair, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. I've found the y-coordinate. I know that the y-coordinate is going to be negative 1, but I still have to find x. So x is up here, isn't it? X equals 13 plus 3y. 
So x equals 13 plus 3 times negative 1. And so x equals 13 minus 3, which is going to be positive 10. Now, how do I know I'm right? Well, let's see. This was line 2, and that's what I used to find the x-coordinate. Why don't I go back to line 1, the other equation, and substitute both numbers in there and see if I get a true answer, okay? So 4 times negative 1 minus 10 times 10 equals negative 104. Is that true? Negative 4 minus 100 equals negative 104. You bet it does. Ne negative 104. can barely make it there. Negative 104. Yes. True. So my answer is that point right there. I'm going to put that in the answer slot and find out if it's true. First, you don't have to use your own keyboard for this. I mean, you don't have to use your own parentheses. You can choose this on the toolbar, and then you can automatically just fill in the points, a 10 for the x, and a negative 1 for the y. I always forget that tool. All right, let's see if we're right. Nice work. I like it when it says nice things to me. Okay, let's jump to 11. There we are. There's 11. I want to do this because the instructions say solve it by substitution. But we're going to have to be a little creative. Because look at all the four letter terms. We don't have um, any of them that are by themselves. So we're going to have to look at where can we divide all the numbers by the same number and get a letter by itself. That won't happen here if I divide everything by 8. That won't work if I divide everything by 5. It won't work if I divide everything by 27. I mean, I'll get ugly fractions, and who wants ugly fractions? On the other hand, if I divide every term in line 2 by 2, I will get y by itself. So I'm going to do that. My line 1 is 8x plus 5y equals 27, and that's not going to be any good at all for a substitution equation. On the other hand, line 2 will be good for a substitution equation. I have 4x plus 2y equals 14. Now watch what happens. If I divide each number by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. And I can do that as long as I divide every single term by 2. This will give me a new line 2. My new line 2 will be 2x plus y equals 7. Now it will be very easy for me to solve for y. So I'm going to do that and then I'll have a substitution equation. All I have to do is subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. Minus 2x minus 2x. So I'll have y equals 7 minus 2x. And that's from line 2. So now that I know what y equals, I can take it to the other line, which is line 1, and substitute it there. So I'll have 
8x plus 5y, but y is 7 minus 2x, equals 27. Our whole goal is to find out where two lines intersect. Again, if you ever take, um, and you will, probably a lot of the people in this class will take economics, and you'll be using this. 8x plus 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, and there's an x there, equals 27. Okay, combine like terms. 8x minus 10x is negative 2x. Meanwhile, I still have my 35 there. Let's subtract 35 from both sides. Now, be careful here. Don't forget that negative sign is in front of the 2. This is going to be negative 2x equals negative 8. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, negative, if we divide both sides by negative 2 so that x will be by itself, we'll isolate x. x equals negative 8 divided by negative 2. That's one of those rules. Okay? If you can't remember it, you can always go to your calculator to figure it out. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. So we now know that in our ordered pair answer, the x coordinate is 4. We just have to find the y coordinate now. But notice that we have our substitution equation solved for y. So all I have to do is say y equals 7 minus 2 times 4. y equals 7 minus 8. y equals negative 1. Now this was line 2, so if I go back to line 1 and hopefully get a true answer, I will be very happy. I always get nervous in this part. Am I going to get 27? So I'll have 32. That's a negative 4. No, that's a negative 1. Minus 5 equals 27. It does. 27 equals 27. I always get so nervous because what if I make a mistake? The world will come to an end. Okay. No, I don't guess it will. I don't guess getting the wrong, wrong or right answer is the worst thing that could happen in the world. Okay, you're right. <gasps> Gotta hold my breath. Ah! There, oh, there they go. Okay, choose the correct graph. Well, that's not it. Here, we can make these bigger and look at them. These are going to cross at positive uh, 4 on the x-axis, 1 on the y-axis. No, negative 1 on the y-axis. So this is definitely not it. Let's check this. 4, negative 1. I bet it's that. I bet it's going to be b, but let's take a look at the others. Oh, it might be that one. I don't think so, though. Looks a little too low. Doggone it. We're going to have to graph this thing. This is taking a whole lot more time than I thought. Okay, fine. Be that way. All right, to be able to graph a line, we have to put it in y equals form. We already have line 2 in y equals form. Uh, we found out that that was 
y equals 7, 7 minus 2x. The only thing is, when you're, when you're officially writing a line to graph it, you have to put the x term first. And remember that that negative sign, oh man, that negative sign goes with the 2. So we're going to have y equals negative 2x plus 7. All right, that's line 2. Now line 1 is going to be a pain, but we can do it because we're so tough. All right, we're going to take 8x plus 5y equals 27. Subtract 8x from both sides of the equation. That'll give us 5y equals negative 8x plus 27. I know to put plus 27 because it's positive 27. Now I divide every number by 5. And so my equation is going, line 1 is going to be y equals negative 8 fifths x plus 27 fifths. What a pain! Oh, I'm glad we're so tough. Okay, I am going to bring up my calculator, Wabbit Moo. You always have to hit run to bring it up. Turn it on. Turn it on. Nope, I don't want second. I want y equals. There we go. Okay, line one is going to be, let me move it over a little bit over here. There we go. Line 1 is, there it is, right there. Line 1 is going to be negative 8 divided by 5x plus 27 divided by 5. Okay? And hit my down arrow to come down to line y2. Y2 is so much easier than that. Negative 2x plus 7. So negative 2x plus 7. Now let's graph them. Aha! I bet it's this one. I would have voted for B. But C, you better stop and know what you're doing. That's it. Rats. Okay, now let's check the answer. Good job and a heck of a lot of trouble. Talk to you later.